Hello, everyone. This is Felicia Bender, the practical numerologist with your numerology forecast for the two personal year or the 11 two personal year, depending on which one you are in. But if you uh, are in the 11, you should be listening to the two. So you're at the right place. All right. And so uh, this is for August. So if you are new to numerology, I ask you to please just take a moment uh, head over to FeliciaBender.com, click on monthly forecast. There you will find a personal year calculator so that you can calculate which personal year you're in in 2023. There's also a very quick, very easy uh, manual calculation down in the description box. So take a moment, make sure you're at the right place at the right time, because this, this forecast is based on your personal year in numerology, not on your life path. So those are two entirely different things. We want to make sure you're at the right place at the right time, listening to the correct forecast. And just so you know, little disclaimer, if you want to even call it that, uh, I've been traveling. If any of you have been following me for the past several months, I've been traveling a bit and uh, today is no exception. And I've got the windows open because it's hot. <laughs> so those of you living on the planet right now know what I'm talking about. And uh, so I've got the window open. So if you're hearing some ambient noises, uh, you'll know where that's coming from. I just want to, you know, just raw and uncensored here. So I want to let you know that you're not going crazy, that you're hearing something. So, but anyway, uh, with that said, I am going to dive right into it. So if you are uh, in a two or that master 11 to personal year, August is a number one personal month for you. It is a one month. So this really is the month to be ready for something new and vital and important in your two personal year to begin. So this is a real uh, opening of the gate month for you because we're closing in on a very peak time uh, for you in your two or that master 11 to personal year. Next month in September is a real crescendo in all of our personal years. Uh, and yet for you, for you, we're talking about you. It's really a year where the energy of the relationship driven and intuitive sensitive number two is going to reach its uh, full richness and intensity next month. So we're really going to be digging in to that in September. So kind of get, get yourself prepped and ready mentally, mental, mind, body, spirit uh, for that. And yet, meanwhile, what is August? What is August bringing to you? It promises to be a very enlightening month for you because you're being called upon to really start something new, to be bold, to make your, uh, your independence a priority right now. Uh, the one is very oppositional in many ways to your the overall energy of your entire two year. And yet, if you've been in an 11 year, uh, you'll recognize this energy. It's very, um, it's very forward. It's initiating all the I words I always say are associated with the number one, independence, individuality, initiation, I, figuring out who you are and being very, um, and being very um, initiating about that and very assertive about that. So you are working with this initiating energy of the one in August, and it might feel a bit strange overall to navigate this forward moving vibe with the slow and patience building energy of your two. I would hope and, and think <laughs> that it would be a welcome respite, a welcome relief right now, a kind of breath of fresh air in many ways. Uh, yet one of the keys for the month is in galvanizing and clarifying your values and seeing uh, who you really are and what you ultimately stand for and what you truly, truly want, right? That has been something that is a key feature and overall lesson of your entire year this year. So this won't come as a total surprise. It'll just feel a little bit different. It'll feel, it'll feel punchier. It'll feel more about you rather than all about uh, everyone else and how you really feel fit within that. It's going to be more about how you stand out and how you 
uh, click into your uniqueness right now. Uh, what, what will can't come maybe as a surprise is that you now have this new burst of energy that actually is allowing you to move forward rather than kind of hovering around. <laughs> in limbo land, right? That's the two I, all, I often hear from people like, oh my gosh, this feels like pulling, this feels like a taffy pull, right? It's like, ah, oh, when can I move? When can, when can I ah, sigh, uh, sigh a sigh of relief, right? Or it kind of feels like maybe you're even running in place right now. So this is a time where you're, you're, you're gaining some momentum, gaining some speed. So it's a month where success comes to those who act, not those who wait, which has been um, a little bit of a different, uh, a different thing than you've been accustomed to most of the year. Now I have to say those in the 11 and in the two, you know, let's just, let's just face it. There are times when there are bursts, you know, of movement forward. Life does carry on as it does. And, and yet what I have experienced personally, and again, with those I work with, the two feels like two steps forward, three steps back, you know, maybe four steps forward and one and a half steps sideways. You know, it has that kind of, uh, 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 you know, feeling to it. So now things are kind of beginning to get more of a, a flow and, and uh, a direct forward momentum. So again, this is a month to act, not to wait, even though it's been, you know, mostly a, a waiting game all year long. So you have a permission slip is really all I'm saying to uh, to do, to, to act, to do it. And, and I'll just reference Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs, he had a one life path. So that's the energy uh, for August. Think about Steve Jobs and that initiating innovative energy. And one of the things that he touted as a key feature uh, uh, for successful people or of successful people is their ability to ask. Interesting, isn't it? He said, you know, the, the, what divides the people who succeed in life is that they know how to ask for help, ask for support, ask for what they need. And so they, they're, they also ask for information. They seek that information. They delegate duties. So that sort of thing. So use that directive as your driver for August. So the patience and wisdom that you have gleaned so far this year, if you've been in your groove, and I'm counting on it that you have, right? You're really, really gathering all of the, um, the beautiful lessons and energy of the two. This ultimately is supposed to be a bit of a, ah, a bit of a resting time, right? A little bit of a regroup time from this three-year transition cycle that you've been in for the past, for the three years prior to this. So um, hopefully all that's been going on this year has altered your perspective about your place in the world, within your relationships, and within your work life. So uh, I would just say that potentially you could reflect on um, that you right now maybe are a little more calm than usual than in your that you know than you usually have been in your life maybe you've learned how to not be so reactive uh, maybe be a little more self-reliant and perhaps even more efficient in many ways than you have in the past those are some of the lessons that can be uh, had and gleaned in the two personal year uh, i would ask you if you've been able to develop a core sense of peace uh, even in the midst of chaos, in the midst of conflict, in the midst of tornadoes of stuff that are happening, can you, have you been able to develop your sense of being the I in the hurricane? Because once again, that is uh, one of the lessons, one of the energies um, that you have to draw on in your two personal year. So August itself brings with it a new sense of vitality, of forward movement, where you felt some delays, uh, that three steps forward, two steps back, you know, uh, that I was referring to before. Uh, maybe that this starts to kind of unlock 
for you. So around August 4th, prepare yourself for dynamic lunges forward in areas where you haven't been able to make much headway uh, all year. You know, since January, maybe these things have been percolating and you're like, ah, oh, I want to, I really need to retool this part of my business or, oh, this part, you know, this relationship with my, with my mother has really got to re-situate itself because I just can't keep doing this over and over again. And yet you've really not been able to make any headway or make any uh, strides in those areas. Well, now's the time. I feel like this is a time where things start to uh, shift and change. So on August 9th or the 22nd, there are some completely new possibilities developing for you. Cha-cha-cha. I always love hearing that. Uh, your numbers are, are saying we're, we're getting things in line for you. Uh, the universe is lining it up and getting it ready. So open yourself to possibility, lean into some of those kind of glimmering potentials. This can be in any aspect of your life that's upfront priority for you right now, yet with the energy of the two personal year, partnerships and relationships are highlighted. That is an apex of the year, partnerships and relationships. You're doing all kinds of work in those, in those uh, realms, in those categories in your life. So uh, I would also ask you, maybe you could be moving forward with a more intimate connection in your romantic life. Can there be new life and depth that's added with your current relationship? Or maybe it's a business partnership blooming or strengthening, or does a relationship need to be kind of, I don't know, phased out or sifted through, um, you know, unwound in your world right now. Those are things that are going to be coming to the surface. So know that there are still delays throughout the next few months. Yes, there are. <laughs> I know you're like, oh, I'm looking at the clock, Felicia, come on, chop, chop, um, got to get things moving. And yet you are going to be uh, really soaking this in for the rest of the year. Uh, they're likely to be shorter, though, in duration. And I would say they, they start feeling less arduous or less um, daunting in some ways. They start to lighten up. So this year has been a lesson. Uh, to slow down, to have patience, to see other people's points of view, and potentially experience other people and yourself included in that in a very new way. So not to mention you're cultivating an attitude of gratitude uh, about some of the things that you may have been you know, taking for granted uh, prior to now. And you can really step back and go, wow, uh, literally and figuratively, stop and smell the roses, really um, get some appreciation uh, about sitting down for a moment, having your morning cup of tea or coffee, having that meditative moment, um, a little breeze that comes in through the window. As corny as it sounds, boy, um, those are the things <laughs> that you begin to really, really take in as uh, important elements for happiness and for contentment and for a feeling of connection with yourself and with your life and with others. So those are things cultivating in your two, in your two personal year. So some friends with considerable business know-how, uh, they may prove to be really helpful for you this month, especially around August the 27th. Taking some initiative is a key to success in August. Again, you gotta, you gotta push forward. You gotta go to the go to the head of the line. You've got to ask for what you want. You have to stand up, stand strong. Um, um, across the board, right? Stand up for yourself in very real ways. Now, the paradox for you in August is that right now you must take the lead, take those decisive actions and focus on initiating things rather than hanging out and waiting, right? That's been kind of the, the through line of action for your forecast right now. This month is an open door. It is a new beginning. You're going to be presented with opportunities to stand up for yourself, clarify those newly defined personal boundaries that you have been working so so hard to establish all year long, hopefully, wink, wink, right? Come on, <laughs> uh, tell me, have you? Uh, and and uh, I, I trust that there are just, well, let me put it this way, have trust 
that there are a lot of things that are happening under the radar right now or behind the scenes, things you can't even quite imagine yet. So take those strides forward and see what unfolds for you. All right, that is your forecast for August. Head to FeliciaBender.com. You can find plenty of free resources, articles, life path information. Uh, you can get your numerology chart there, all kinds of courses uh, and other services as well. I'm looking forward to meeting with you next month to see what September has in store for you. And just a bit of a spoiler alert, uh, September really is a pivotal month, numerologically speaking. So September is a crescendo. You'll hear me say this more than once uh, in your year. So I really look forward to digging into what that might mean for you uh, at the pivotal point in your relationship-centered to personal year. So I'll meet you back here next month.